Hi all folks, this is Max from Zetomax.com and um, NexusSHacks.com um, So I've got the uh, Brain Master um, Nexus S ICS ROM based on 4.0.1 as you can see here um, The one on my right is the one for Nexus S 4G and the one on the left is for a regular Nexus uh, S This is a T-Mobile This is the um, the Sprint uh, 4G version. Uh, for the 4G version, you'll lose uh, 4G for now. It's not a too big of a problem. Um, let me show you around. You get a full ICS experience, of course. Um, this is, you know, one of the more stable, more stable, sta probably the stablest um, ICS ROM you'll see, other than the Galaxy Nexus. Um, so far, I kind of like it. Um, for the Nexus S 4G, you can overclock it to 1.2 gigahertz, which I believe will get even better as we go along. Um, for Quadrant, well actually, you know what, let's run Quadrant on both. Sometimes you get forced close on some apps, but they will eventually run, um, which is okay. So, this is pretty stable though, it's a good daily driver I think. Um, anyway, I just got back from Korea and uh, it's been fun. I got to see the Galaxy Nexus hands-on and also the Galaxy Note white version hands-on. Um, in my opinion, Galaxy Note is probably the best phone out there um, so far as you don't mind the size. size. And I still f prefer Galaxy S2 over the new Galaxy Nexus. Because the um, the Galaxy Nexus is great. I mean, it has great software, but as far as hardware, I think it still lags behind the Galaxy S2. The um, TIO Map 4460 that's on the um, the new Galaxy Nexus Nexus isn't that fast, in my opinion. Um, so I got 15 1598 <clears throat> here. Um, I was getting a little bit over 2,000. It's probably because I just loaded up uh, some. I just loaded the ROM and loaded a bunch of apps. So it's still downloading. Um, but you can expect near 2000, and people are saying that the Quadrant scores are off on the ICS, which I think is true. Um, it could be true. It's, so far as, you know, the usability, it seems pretty, pretty stable. Um, let me give you a tour. So it's pretty zippy. So if you've been waiting to an upgrade to ICS, I think this is a fairly good build. Um, Google Wallet works, and also the um, N NFC feature works. So let's say I go to Google Maps and uh, come on. So with my Nexus S 4G, uh, I want to send my current location this map. I'll just do that, and it actually works. Whoop, what happened? Ah. What? No, I'm getting it on this one. Oh, touch the beam. I have to beam it. There you go. So now we'll get the same map here. <coughs> so I think pretty much everything is working. Um, so I just beam my location. That's kind of cool. And you can use um, Google Wallet. Google Wallet works, which is cool. Um, I gotta enter my pen. And uh, you get all the cool stuff here. Oh, did the camera work? I forgot to check that. Let's check that out. Oh. There we go. So camera works. Let's take a shot. All right, and let's go to video. Video real quick. Whoa. <clears throat> so, video working fine there. Um, so it's a full ICS experience. Um, as we go along, I'll update with more videos, ROMs. Um, should be able to achieve better speeds but this is really usable and it's really nice actually so I'm gonna play with this for a while and you know until the official official ROM comes out um, you know this is still really good so check it out I'll have uh, downloads for the Nexus S4G 
and also the regular Nexus S. Um, I think it's good to go. Now you can beam, so every time you do that, you get that sound. And also the face unlock um, kind of works, I think. Where, where's my face? There you go. Well, I couldn't find my face. Um, <clears throat> so check it out. It's a little bit buggy, but it's still very, very usable. So no problem there. See y'all later. Thanks. Subscribe. Oh, and I, I just ordered the Galaxy Nexus uh, unlock version, which I think fared better on Engadget, um, which I think is true. Always, Samsung has better stuff on the unlocked international devices. The reason why everything changes when it comes over to the US is um, usually they, they'll test it out and tweak things a little bit and when they tweak it, usually it gets worse. And also you get the center button for um, for most of this stuff, like the Galaxy Note, you'll get a center button instead of the four buttons uh, for the US versions, which will be coming out also. Um, but I got the Galaxy Note and Galaxy Nexus um, both coming next week so I'll have a full rooting video review video unboxing throwing it in the in the ocean videos anyway see y'all later um, I'm, I have a bunch of ICS ROMs coming for all all the phones this week um, because I I came back from two weeks um, of traveling and I'll have some videos of my travels too so see y'all later bye bye